Let's start with the geometry preparation. Really basic uh, knowledge. Basically, you know, when you start a study, all of the bodies in that study are combined. And if they don't combine correctly, or if they combine in weird ways, or if they don't create the closed volume that you expect, it's going to cause errors. So for the most part, if you see an error, something that says something like uh, unresolved boundary condition, the face is not on the solid fluid interface, you have an invalid face, uh, especially if it's a rebuild error in the tree or the solver errors out on the first time step, that's caused by your geometry. You got a problem and I'm going to show you how to fix it. Um, every single body that's in that mesh, hidden or visible, will be combined and then anything that is airtight will be an enclosed volume. And by airtight, see at the bottom, I either mean face-to-face -face contact like on the surface or plugged on the inside. Do not give it point contact. I mean, flow simulation may resolve it just fine. It can handle some really weird geometry, but that's not going to give you airtight. It's definitely going to leave you prone to some problems. The interference fit which is how most lids are created, is totally fine for the majority of things except for conduction. Uh, main reason being, you don't know the density, the thermal conductivity, and everything else if these are two different materials and they have an interfering volume. So that's the only thing that could cause some weird results. Uh, otherwise, just anything, as long as it's airtight, is going to close that volume in. And specifically, we care about closed volume for internal studies. So an internal study uh, does internal flow only. Internal and external is, is both. So it only says external, but it's actually internal or external. Um, you can have multiple closed volumes, but the big key here is that for internal studies, you must use lids, you must enclose the volume completely, and you must not have leaks. If you have leaks, you have a problem, you'll have errors, and that's kind of what the geometry preparation is all about. External studies are just so much more tolerant of problems. Now, in an internal study, the domain size is set automatically based on the volume of what's inside the geometry and the, the enclosed volume that you select. So keep an eye on domain size because it's a clue as to what might be going wrong. In an external study, it doesn't matter because it's completely set by you. So you'll have to kind of worry about that separately.